flying the uh, Advanced Alpha 6 and uh, now for the first time flown it uh, and we've had, a, we've had a great day today so it's been a good variety of conditions, very light, gentle conditions and a bit of thermic which is nice so we got a bit of height so that allowed us to, to try out a few things. Getting the glider out of the bag, the usual advanced quality you just expect, really beautifully made, really great build quality. Um, nicely put together, nice touches. We're looking in detail at the risers, um, very nicely put together. The new colour coordinating system is a nice little touch, just helps you just for uh, new pilots to be able to get the risers on easily the right way around when you've got lots to think about. Uh, at first we were launching in a, in a reasonably sort of reasonable moderate to strongest breeze and uh, actually found the glider surprisingly easy to handle in that kind of wind sometimes with a with a, um, a lower rated glider with a big opening so that can be sort of more of a handful to hold down but just with the brakes it seemed uh, quite nice very nicely behaved in the, even in the stiff breeze um, using the rear risers with the brakes was quite nice to, because they're, they're not attached to the stabilos, that really was very stable. Um, then just building the wall, that was uh, very clean. So the glider comes up really nice and easily and has a tendency to just want to rise up nice and smoothly, doesn't have a sticking point or anything like that, just keeps coming up nicely. Uh, and then as it comes above your head, stabilizers just sort of, so they've dampened the wing out, so it just kind of softens out nicely there. Taking off on a further back on the slopes so is a little bit shallower, running through the glider lifted off nicely. Um, just had to seem to sit really nicely above my head, not hanging back or pitching forwards. So as I ran off it just stayed with me and lifted off really nicely. The the first part of the brakes is really quite light and the, the bit that you use most of the time felt reasonably light in fact. So so just for general flying around on the ridge and thermaling um, as long as you're not turning tightly, you're just doing gentle turns, the, the, the handling is quite light. As you turn and crank the glider up, the brakes firm up quite a bit, and there you feel a very a positive resistance. I'm not sure I'd describe them as heavy, but it's definitely firm. They feel like a firm brake pressure. I tried pushing the glider hard and abusing the brakes a bit by pushing them down really hard and seeing it. And the brake really firmed up a lot, so that you could really, it was obvious when the glider was about to stall. Um, and in fact, if I was holding the toggles rather than putting my hands through or holding above the toggles, I flew around with my hands like a like a monkey, <laughs> like a big ape for a while, just with my hands around my bum in the handles and the glider. You could tell it was kind of teetering near the edge of stall, but it, it didn't stall. Big ears, just using the, the, the split A's. Um, very stable, the ears popped in. They're quite small because it's got three lines and they they seem to go out to the tips, so not particularly big, big ears, but very stable, not flapping around, and uh, gave a good descent rate. To get a decent descent rate, I think you might want to reach higher up the lines or pull in the second lines to get a, a, a good descent rate. Then um, tried a few asymmetrics. Uh, first, because um, we went particularly high and there were some other pilots about, was a little bit ginger about it and just pulled on the riser and kind of the edge flopped and it just popped out again. So it's very, very stable in the asymmetric. So then I tried and gave it a good good old pull and still it was a bit of a non-event, the collapse. Even pulling it pretty hard, the glider kind of, it just it peeled down and just popped back out. I didn't even I hardly turn without doing very much. I tried a few wing overs, winged it about, and uh, despite feeling quite pitch dampened, so the, the pitch dampening was, was it's it's definitely got a nice pitch damping to it. It's very, very reassuring for the kind of pilot that's flying it. In wingovers, I'm surprised that it still had nice energy. I mean, it doesn't feel like a, you know, it's not a, a hot glider, so it feels dampened, but you can still wang the glider around really nicely. From my first impressions, you know, it's ideal as a, as a first wing, a beginner wing for people starting out. And the nice thing about it, it's got very nice performance. Um, for the level of glider, it's got excellent climbing, climb rate and performance, so it's a wing that you can progress progress into nicely. Um, I flew in some, some thermals with some other gliders and it was climbing, you know, the glider itself was climbing really nicely and I pushed forward into a strong breeze, there was a bit, 
it was a bit unstable today, so there were some quite strong moments, and I wasn't having any problem penetrating um, into that, and so it's, yeah, it's got a nice, very nice performance. Actually, something I was very impressed with was the speed system. Um, I put up, I did a, few, a bit of bar. I normally only use kind of a third to half bar generally, but uh, so I was pushing on the bar, and it felt really very solid on the bar, and uh, kept its glide pretty nicely. And then the wind got quite strong, and I had it locked out pulley to pulley for a good long while. And uh, I'm really impressed at how solid the glider felt. Um, definitely could feel the, feel the glider, the glide dropping off a bit, the sync rate increasing, but still very good.